Hi guys, I'm playing Fortnite on my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. I'm using a DualSense controller. I'm using this on, on it. And I just thought it was interesting. Uh, I just found out today that I could actually use my DualSense controller on, uh, uh, with, I mean, playing the game uh, War Robot. So I'm just saying, because I didn't know you could do that uh, since before. You understand what I mean? Right, so on this game, if you don't know how to connect your DualSense controller, you need to go into Bluetooth uh, on your phone, on your Samsung. Uh, then you need to go into pairing mode. And on this one, I'll just show you quickly. On this one, you need to press the PlayStation logo. And this button's called the share button. This one is create. So on this one, you press that button and you press the PlayStation logo. And when you press these two buttons together, one, two, these two buttons, the blue lights will flicker. When they're flickering blue, 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 like they just, they just start going on and off this, uh, on these sides, the blue light. Then all you got to do on your uh, Samsung is you need to connect, you need to pair the, this um, gamepad to your phone. And that's basically it. That's how you do it. So I'm just telling people because a lot of people don't seem to know how to pair the DualSense controller. I, I know I did I did say there was a problem with the um, with the um, Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. That's the one. That's the phone I used to have before. I mean I still have it. That's is this one. This is my. That's that's the Z Fold. I'm using it as a light. That's the Z Fold 4. So I know what you're gonna think. What happened with the Z Fold? Well, the Z Fold 4, the inner screen, got damaged. Uh, as a direct result of the way I was opening it. So it's it couldn't open up flat. I did pay like $500 for it. But um, like I said at the beginning, I just wanted a affordable phone and I bought it. I'm not saying uh, other people should do what I did. I was, I don't know if I was desperate. I just I just wanted a affordable phone. I was tired of looking, you know, on, on AliExpress, Amazon, eBay. They were all been sold for like eight hundred, nine hundred dollars. This is listen. This is a long time ago when I bought this phone. Uh, so, you know, when I found it for like five hundred, I I saw it more as a bargain. You understand? That's why I'm saying to people, don't do what I did. Don't don't get desperate and buy a phone that doesn't open up properly. So, don't don't be like me. Don't don't do that mistake because. Um, buying a phone that's damaged is not a good idea. But uh, like I said, I was desperate. I wanted. I didn't care about the condition of the phone, and uh, I just, I just, I just thought it didn't matter. You, you understand what I mean? I, I thought this. Listen, I, I didn't, I didn't think about it that much. I just, I just saw this thing. I saw this phone, and I thought, you know what? I want a foldable phone. I didn't care about the condition of the phone at the time. And um, what I've learned now is that you should care about the condition of a phone. Because if you buy a foldable phone that can't unfold flat, okay, can't unfold flat, after a while of opening the phone continuously, opening it, right, you understand? You keep opening the phone and it doesn't unfold flat. What's going to happen? Well, the phone eventually will get damaged. It will. Uh, you, you're gonna you're gonna have a damaged phone, and um, you can't you can't simply fix it like I thought you could just simply fix it. You can't. What do these things do? You see, they don't do anything. That's why I hate this thing. I I just don't know why the I don't know why that was made. Those weird grenades. They don't do anything. I thought it was gonna cause some damage, at least to the walls or something. Help me get these bricks quicker, but nothing. It nothing happens. Listen, what I'm saying is, I I got my foldable phone because I was desperate. I didn't care about condition of the phone, and I'm I try to tell people not to be like me. Don't become desperate to the point that you buy anything in any condition. It's not a good idea. Uh, why am I saying this? Because I got mine. I bought mine for five hundred dollars. A lot of money. It wasn't cheap, guys. It was expensive. Five hundred dollars, five hundred and sixty dollars actually. It's a lot of money for a phone that didn't work properly. I mean, it didn't open flat. It worked properly. It was unlocked. It still works, 
I can use any SIM card on the phone, so it works perfectly as, as a normal phone. But the problem is the inner screen is now damaged. I looked on eBay, people don't sell the digitizer. You know, they don't sell the inner screen. What people will do is when they sell these type of foldable phones, I think they do, they do this to, to earn a profit. So let's say I was selling mine. I would put mine on eBay for like $300 or $200. Let's say I just, I just want to get rid of mine. Let's say I want, I want to get my money back. I'll put mine on eBay for like $200 and I'll say that's the final price. And I will actually say that the inner screen does not work. And the outer screen is uh, damaged, you know. But the phone, as a phone works, it downloads, does everything. You know, or I'd, you know, if you don't want, uh, let's say you don't want issues from the person. You know, some people may buy it and then decide they don't want it anymore. So if you don't want issues from people, what you could do on eBay, especially eBay, you can just put it down as a faulty phone. What the hell? You can put it down as a faulty phone and then you can sell it that way. You understand? So that way you're not you're not liable. You understand? So that is that is one of the ways. That is one of the ways you could actually I don't know who was shooting me, man. Right? That's one of the ways you can avoid uh, returns. You can just say no returns and you can actually state that the phone itself is damaged. Um, you know, you can just say it's a faulty phone. You don't have to say anything about it because once you say faulty on eBay, you're protected already, right? So what I'm talking about is I, I didn't estimate the, the damage like it was going to uh, cause me an issue. For a few months, I had the phone. It was working. La -da -da. You know, the general things, it was working. I was able to use it, play games on it. I was playing Fortnite actually on the Z Fold 4. Um, but what I've learned is it's not worth buying a damaged phone. Don't buy damaged phones. I mean, especially if, if, if you are a technician, if you fix phones, no problem. Oh my God. Look what I did. Look what this guy's doing. Not cases. Right. So what I'm saying is do not buy damaged phone. It's, it's not worth it in the long run. It's a waste of money. Trust me. If, listen, if, if I had known the inner, listen, the outer digitizer, the digitizer is actually the screen of the phone, right? If I had known, if, if, if I had known, if I had known that um, it was virtually impossible to fix the affordable phones like a Samsung, like next to impossible to fix it, I wouldn't have bought it in the first place. You understand? I wouldn't. I wouldn't have bought it in the first place. I don't know this guy. Oh no, it's a woman, right? What What I'm saying is, oh my God, I'm pulling this the cable. <laughs> what I'm saying is, if I had if if I had watched a video like mine, like someone telling me, like don't buy these type of phone because they're hard to fix, I would have never bought it. All right, uh, let me get back to the point. eBay. Um. Why is it difficult to find someone selling Z Fold 4 uh, digitizer, which is a screen? Why is it hard? Because a, a lot of people... Oh my God, <laughs> both shot. <laughs> both shot at the same time. Listen, um, so why is it difficult to find someone selling the inner display? Because a lot of people want to make profit. They know they can just sell you the, the phone um oh my god they can sell you the screen without the phone but what people would do because they want to make a bit of profit is they'll try and sell you the, the entire phone with the inner screen or the outer screen working inner screen not working properly you understand so they'll end up charging you like 300 dollars for that phone which in in my in my in my mindset i don't think it's worth buying i just don't not think it's worth buying I just don't think it's worth buying. I, I'm just saying it that way. You know, it's 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 not worth it's not worth the money. If if it's it's actually better just to to buy another phone. You know that that's what I think. It is much better to to buy a a, a phone. 
it's just much better to buy um an another phone on eBay. Uh, if you've got three hundred dollars or three hundred dollars, it's just what I'm saying is it's it's better value for money. Don't don't waste your money buying something that that's already messed up. I know what you're thinking. Oh, but if I fix it, I can sell it for more. Then the Z Fold fours right now on eBay are going like for four hundred dollars anyway. So what's the point? You're getting it for three hundred dollars. It's damaged. You can't fix it. And someone is actually selling the same phone for, you know, you know what I mean? What I'm saying is someone else. Oh my God, I'm getting shot. Someone else will be selling the same phone on eBay for like um, the same amount of money. You understand? So imagine someone selling, um, what I'm saying is, imagine someone selling that phone for like, um, for like $300, right? So you, I mean, selling that phone for like $400, sorry. I don't mean 300, I mean like 400 because I did, I found someone selling, um, it wasn't brand new, but it's, it's in good condition. It's in a box. It's a Z Fold 4 Samsung. Uh, he was selling his for $450, but you have to remember, it was in good condition, everything works, both the screen inside works, the inner screen and the out screen, but uh, here's, I don't think it folds like properly, but you have to understand, it's an old phone, you, you know what I mean, so he does state that that's an old phone, but it's it was in good condition, I'm not saying it doesn't unfold, it unfolds, but at a certain angle, you know, so at least, at least this person has been honest. Look at that. He was shooting me, but everyone got him. <laughs> you know, everyone shot him. What is this thing? What's that? Oh, it's this uh, grass thing. Yeah, I want a gun. Let's see. There are people down here. Wait, where are the people? Can't see them. They might be on top of the hill. Right, so what I'm saying is the person who has been honest on eBay, he's selling his for 450 everything works it 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 unfolds but it doesn't unfold perfectly but he was being honest you know he's telling the truth about his thing i personally if someone asked me should should they have bought it for 450 i don't think so i think it's it'll be just it's better value for money ah oh, damn we lost it's it's better value for money if you just buy a, a new phone you know you know what i mean it's, it's what I think. If you buy a brand new phone, you'd be saving yourself a whole, ha just a hassle. You understand? There, there is no point, there's no point in buying something that's just gonna give you headaches or give you problems down the line. So what I'm saying is, is it a good idea to buy a used, a used phone? Yes, in some circumstances, yes. If it's a new phone, if it's a Z Fold 5 and it doesn't unfold completely flat, I don't know. I don't think I would advise someone to buy it because I will tell them, listen, I would tell them from my past experience, I'll say, listen, I, I got a, a, a Z Fold 4. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll call the person on video call and show them my Z Fold 4. And then I'll say, are you prepared to have a phone that looks like this in a couple of months? Like down the line, you've paid... Let's say the person is charging like 600, 700 because it's a Z Fold 5. And then I'll say to them, are you prepared? I'll say to that person, are you prepared to have the same issue on your phone? Are you prepared to have uh, the same problems? Like, you know, it's not unfolding completely flat. And uh, if that person was cool with it, I'll be like, okay. I've shown you what can happen. So listen, when you go into your Galaxy store, you need to type in Epic. And it's in here. This is the one you download. And it's in here where you get the game, uh, Fortnite. That's how you get Fortnite onto your uh, your Galaxy phone. I don't know what phone you've got. If you've got the Ultra, then obviously you can get the game. Or if you've got the Fold, like mine, you can get the game. I don't know about other Galaxy phones. But as long as you've got a Galaxy store, you, you can definitely get Epic Games. It's an app that's on the Galaxy Store. I'm showing it to you now. That's the actual app. And uh, that's the game. That's Fortnite. Right. So if you have, if you have this game, 
if you have if you have a samsung galaxy phone and you've got the galaxy store it's called the galaxy store it's not the play store the play store does not have epic games and it does not have fortnite you can also sideload the game um i'll show you my my oppo reno on this dude here on this phone i've got fortnite as well you can actually see that this is not this phone is not a, a foldable phone but check i've got fortnite fortnite is there it's right there uh i don't know if it's coming out properly there's fortnite and i've got epic games see uh it says what's this enable auto update right so in this you see fortnite is right there and you see it even says launch so that's fortnite and it's asking me if i want to launch the game you see so how did i get this if i'm on, on an oppo reno and obviously uh play store doesn't have fortnite or epic games so how did i get this game uh with this one i actually went online i think i used chrome you see it's right there i use this uptown downtown it's a it's a website and that's how i downloaded uh fortnite so in here you see that's how i got epic games epic games is running right there so you can side side loading it's just like you see it used to be like this that's the old one it's been recently updated uh, but that's why I'm saying that's how you can also side load. Uh, you need to go into your security on your phone where it says install unknown sources. You need to enable that. So just go to unknown, unknown sources, go to unknown sources. And um, well, I don't know. I, I don't know where it is on, on the Oppo Reno, but I'm just saying go into your phone. It should show you. It has to show you where, you know, it's okay. Listen. When you're trying to install those kind of apps these these apps it will ask you anyway do you want to install it on your phone and just allow it that's the unknown sources and then you download epic games in epic games you will get fortnite so this is from chrome on on the phone and this is an oppo reno this is not a samsung i'm actually showing you this is a different phone look it's another phone it's not a samsung phone i'm i'm just trying to tell people that you can play fortnite there it is. It's an Oppo Reno. You see Oppo? It's there. It's even written Oppo. You see O-P-P-O. -P -P -O. Oppo. This is the Oppo Reno 8 Pro 5G. Uh, the newer phones on the Oppos are the 9 and the 10. See? It's a different phone. It's not a Samsung. It's not a Samsung. But I'm I'm telling you guys, you can download this game. There's Fortnite. Fortnite is there. That's Fortnite. And that's Epic Games. And how did I get the Epic Games? Uh, in order to get the Fortnite, you you can just go on Chrome, Chrome that that Chrome, and you can just download the game. That's it. Um, you you don't need a Samsung, but what I'm saying is, uh, my whole point. Why do I keep talking about Samsung? Because Samsung has Galaxy Store already installed on your phone, and what that will do is, it's going to allow you to actually download Epic Games, and in Epic Games, in here. You see Fortnite is right there. So you don't have to go through the hassle of going onto the internet. Sorry if the phones had to zoom back in. It's because I'm bringing things close to the screen. And uh, this is the 14 Pro Max. And I don't know why it does that. But it zooms in and zooms out. So I'm sorry if it's blurry. But um, the whole point of this is that... Um, okay, I'll, I'll show you. I want to show you the difference. Because I, I don't think people know that uh, this has two uh, stores on it. That's a Galaxy store, see? That's the store right there. That's a Galaxy store, right? And I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you side by side comparison because on this phone, I'm able to show you the comparison. The one here, that's Play Store. This is the Play Store. That's Play Store. You see the differences? They're not the same. It's not the same store. They look the same, but they're not the same. Uh, I don't know if I can go into this top thing here. If I can find the dark mode and then I can turn dark mode off. If I can turn dark mode off, it's going to be a bit brighter, guys. So I'm going to try and dim the screen again. It's just gone really bright. Uh, why did I do that? Because I, I want to show you the differences with the stores. You see? Look at the store. It's not the same store. And you can actually tell here at the top here it does say Galaxy Store. Uh, let me move this thing. You see there? Galaxy Store. It does actually tell you that that's a Galaxy Store. If you can't see it clearly, there it's 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 actually telling you Galaxy Store, and the other one is a um, 
So this one on this side, that's Galaxy Store. On this side, this is Play Store. And if I look in here, for example, let's say I want to find Epic Games. Uh, let me divide this screen. Epic Games. Epic Games. Look, it, it, it won't find it. It's not there. That's a Play Store. Uh, and if I go into this one and I do the same thing and I look for Epic Games, I'm just trying to show you the differences. It's there. It finds it. Let me put this back into dark mode. I think this is, this is not working out the way I wanted it to. It's, uh, you see? I just wanted to show you the differences. So what's the difference here? The difference is the one on the left is got Epic Games. And there it's, it has it as an app. Uh, let me try and zoom in properly. I think I changed the, you know, I changed from light to dark. You see, on the Galaxy Store, it found Epic Games. It's right there. On the Play Store, look on it, this device. It's actually showing you that it can't find it. It's not there. There's On Play Store, it's not there. It's got all this Game Pass. Oh, my God. Don't do that. <laughs> it's Alexia. So, listen, on this side... It's got the Game Pass, it's got Steam, it's got Call of Duty, it's got Mortal Kombat, it's got all these other game things, but it simply does not have the Epic Games. It even has a list of Epic Games stuff here, like Fall Guys, Rocket League, Authentic uh, App, uh, Game Marker, a Call of Duty game. You see, it, it, there's no Epic Games, but this one has it, and it's right there at the top. If you click on this one, look what happens. You see, on the Galaxy Store itself, it actually takes you into... The store it shows you that's the app right there and if you didn't have it installed it would say install and then you install it you sign in via the internet and then that's how you get into your game uh into your fortnite into your game so there it is that's the difference so if you have if you have a samsung phone and uh you you've been wondering all this time why you've got two stores then this is the advantage of having two stores is that the Galaxy Store, as I'm talking to you right now, is the one where you can get Epic Games, you install it, then when it installs on your phone, it will take you to Chrome, or whatever website you've got assigned as default. Uh, that's what Samsung does, or whatever phone you're using. And then, uh, be, well, right now I'm talking about Samsung. So let's say it takes you into the uh, Chrome, and then you sign into your um, Epic Games account, and then once you sign in, then you can install whatever game that's there. It's got Rocket League, uh, Pocket, and then it's got this one. It's got this uh, Fortnite. Obviously, you want Fortnite, and then you sign. once you've signed in, it will allow you to install Fortnite. Once Fortnite is in, it will ask you again, do you want to install the normal version of Fortnite, or do you want the HD version? And then obviously select HD because that one looks the best, and then it install HD, and that's it. This is the Play Store. That's all Play Store stuff. It's not there. So in Play Store, you will not find Epic Games. That's what I'm trying to say to you guys, that these are not the same. So if, you, if you're hearing other people talking about this Galaxy Store, and you keep wondering, why do people compare Galaxy Store to Play Store? It's because of this. Uh, because of the apps. The apps, you see? It even says Fortnite right there. It's, it's, it even shows Fortnite. It shows Fortnite right there. But look, this doesn't show Fortnite. There's no Fortnite in here. You see? It says Fantastic Games. It says something else. It's got all this weird stuff in here, but there's nothing. This says Fortnite right there. So if you're wondering why people are talking about this, this is why. Uh, I, I want to save this to my home screen. Uh, what this will do now, it will save it to the home screen. I think there's something in here that I wanted to remove. Uh, let's see. What's this? Calculator. Blah, 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 blah. Da, 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 da. Uh, I've got some other stuff in here. That's okay. That's clock stuff. Um, I had to remove some of these. You know, remember what I said last time. I actually had um, trying to think. You know what? I, I can actually move this one. Let's just find my device stuff. But I can slot it up there, and then I can have this one. This is actually. You know, if you're wondering what I'm doing, uh, what I've just done is I've created two apps in one. I'm going to show you what I've done. So let's say I close out. Let's say I've closed out of the, the Galaxy Store and the Play Store, right? But I want to get back into two stores at the same time, but I don't want to click on these two. So what do I do? I can go down here 
and then I can just look for Galaxy Store, click into that one, and Play Store. But that's the same thing as clicking there and there, right? But let's say I want to open both of the apps at the same time. That's why I created that. And I tap on this, and there you go. Galaxy Store, Play Store opens. See? So this is the major benefit of having a foldable phone. Because I know a lot of people are like wondering, so is that the only reason for a foldable phone? Because I can do stuff like this. Uh, I am still playing games. I'm just showing you guys uh, what I do on mine. These are all the... Oops. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's all my... Um, these are all my Facebook accounts. I'm going to close that one out. I'm just looking for... I'm looking for stuff that I can show you that's relevant. I've got two browsers that are connected together. But the one that I like the most is the... And I don't know why that's happened. I like the calendar apps, you see? I've got this one here at the bottom. That's another calendar. This is another, that's another calendar app. These are three different calendars together. I know what you're thinking. Why would you use this for? Well, I can... One, I've got a stylus. I can make a note. I can take a screenshot. I can also mark some days on this. And I can take a screenshot of that and save it on my photos. Or I can actually make a date, you know, in these things. You can use the stylus for a lot of things on uh, the foldable phone. So this is one of the apps that I like using the most. I mean, this is good if you're a business person, isn't it? So imagine, imagine like, let's say you've got this three, three calendars. I mean, it sounds dumb if you're thinking, well, one calendar is enough. Okay, fine. But what if... What if um, you've got people in your house that, um, you know, go through your phone sometimes and you don't want them knowing what you're doing? <laughs> I'm just saying, if you're doing a lot of business deals and then you've got people in your house that are not related to you, but they're also in the same business you're doing and you don't want them knowing about your private business deal. So you could hide stuff, you know, you can note here, note there, note there. You can actually lock up these calendars. It's, it's not, they're just not calendars. You, you know what I mean? You can do a lot of stuff in those calendars. You can make notes, lock them up. You can create a picture of that, like a screen thing. thing. You can have a private folder in your, in your gallery and lock it. And no matter how someone goes through your phone, they can't find those photos. You understand? So you can do a lot of things on the foldable phone that you can't do on a normal phone. Normal phone, you can do the same. Okay, you could kind of, you can kind of lock up the phone and stuff like that. But I don't think it'll be the same thing as affordable i don't think it's the same function so i'm trying to get into calendar i mean into weather right it wants it wants the gps to be turned on uh this is for yahoo yahoo wanted that right so this is like three different weather systems and look at this one so i could be checking in here to see is it going to rain tomorrow what time blah 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 when is it going to rain the most what time is the sun going down and and this is another one but i think yahoo does prefer having a longer screen. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't use Yahoo that much. I, I normally use, the ones I use normally is uh, BBC Weather and uh, the others. But this one, why I wanted this one is because this is the news, you know? This is news. This is start. This is uh, MSN. Remember, uh, MSN, uh, MSN um, is the Microsoft Edge. And this one is called Start. This is the Start one. This is an app. But this is the same thing. This is MSN. Um, you know, you can shrink those two. You see? And you got a wider view. But I do like, I like using this one. It's got everything. It's got games. Right. Uh, it's talking about GTA, GTA Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer coming next month. Rockstar stay, says. So GTA 6 is coming next month. It's got all the stuff. It's talking about Congress, talking about Parliament. It's talking about oil. I think oil price is hitting. It says what? Hitting. Okay, okay. It's talking about something else. Uh, it's talking about arthritis, talking about NHS. I mean, doctor stuff, uh, vegetable stuff, uh, phone stuff, uh, movies, news. But I mostly use this for the weather. And like I said, I, I do like looking at the news. I've got other apps for news, of course, but uh, like I said, I've got all of these, you know. Uh, I've got these weather weather apps and stuff. Right, guys. Uh, let's see. What else am I doing? 
Okay, I'm trying to see what else I can show you guys that I do on mine. Right, I've got this. Okay, I've got this one. Just trying to wonder. Okay, I've got one up there. Oh, this has got Spotify on it. Right, um, they're also talking about the Samsung Galaxy Z, uh, sorry, S24. S24 uh, Ultra concept. That's kind of weird. I mean, hasn't this phone come out yet, this 24? I mean, I'm not really, I don't really look at Samsung that much. I used to be a fan, a fanboy of Samsung, but I'm not a fanboy at the moment. I mean, I used to be. They, there's a lot of speculation about the uh, Nintendo 2 coming out they're saying it's gonna be as powerful as the playstation playstation 4 i think if that happens that would be good i mean at least we'll be able to you know to play uh call of duty games on the switch because this current switch <laughs> is 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 old i mean it's good it's a good thing but i mean it's pretty old i mean having a, a new one would be good i'm just looking at uh other things that i may have on this system um, okay, so you can create two two apps that will work together. You can actually make them three. I've already shown you. You can actually use three different apps on... You can create a three app. The other one you can actually do is... You know on the sidebar here, I've got... You see I've got these other apps here. Uh, so I've, I've got Argos and eBay working together. So that's Argos, eBay. And... Uh, so... What's the advantage of this? Well, I could be doing something here. That's eBay. And this is Argos. Uh, why did I create these? Uh, basically, it's just like, I thought it would be interesting, you know? Okay, this one is Today Weather, Yahoo, and uh, BBC Weather. Those do need the uh, GPS, though. Right. What else do I have in here that I can show you guys? Uh, I've got some stuff. I've uh, got CEX, eBay, Amazon. Let's click on those. Let's see what happens. You see? So this is CEX. You know, you can buy stuff. You can sell stuff to them as well. That's Amazon down there. And that's eBay. All of these uh, apps are working together on one screen. And I can actually change them. I can give these uh, bigger screens if I want to. Or I can give that a uh, bigger view, you see, if I wanted to. So that's CEX over there. I can have it, have it. You see what I mean? So I do like this function. Uh, what else? Let me look for something else that I could put there. I've got some email apps. Um, oh, yeah. You know, the other thing I do like about this. Let me try and go into my email. Right. So in here, I've got emails and stuff like that. I'm just, you know what I'm going to do, basically. Let me do this. So anything I've got in here that I'll click on, look what happens. It comes to this section. That's why I said... This reminds me of an iPad. Look at that. You see that? And that's like an overview. 